Hello again. Previously, we had looked at some methods for identifying the core vocabulary of a discipline or subdiscipline. And while this doesn't seem to be very exciting work, in fact, it has some real world implications. By understanding what the core vocabulary is of a particular field in health, we can understand what level students should be at when they enter their professional training. This is especially important for students for whom English is a second language. It also gives instructors some sense of what it is they ought to be teaching to and what we should be testing as well. We can also use this kind of technology to compare different subdisciplines. For example, we can compare midwifery and obstetrics or nursing and public health, perhaps chiropractic and osteopathy, and ask how different or how similar they actually are. This has real implications beyond just education and touches upon, for example, the regulation of professions and also workforce planning. What we want to do today is to take our language analysis a bit further and use some other technologies uh, to identify patterns of speech or writing and also to identify uh, important themes in research. So let's do that. First, let's create our corpus by going to PubMed and searching for randomized controlled trials of low back pain. And we see that we have approximately 2,600 articles with the peak in publications coming around 2016 or 2017. Well, let's save that collection. We'll take all of the articles and we want to download them in PubMed format because that's the format uh, for input to VOS Viewer, the program that we want to use. And here's our analysis program. So let's start a new file using that corpus that we have downloaded. So we'll tell the machine that this is going to be for text analysis. There are a few settings that we have to adjust. We import our corpus. And off we go. And we'll condense the runtime. And this is what we eventually end up with. Well, that's a pretty picture, and we can adjust the settings to make it easier to understand. But essentially, you can see that the entire vocabulary of RCTs can be arranged into five families of words, which essentially represent five themes, more or less grouped around particular interventions. And so we can see that, well, acupuncture was an important theme, as was surgery, spinal injection, and of course we see reference to placebo, and we hope also that care comes up rather a lot. We can also search for particular themes, perhaps an intervention of interest, and see where it fits into the grand scheme of things. Another great advantage of Voss Viewer is that it allows you to track the evolution of vocabulary over time so that we can see which words were once more prevalent but have now gone out of fashion and what's coming into style. Hopefully this reflects problems being solved and new problems coming to the fore. You can see then that modern powerful linguistic tools allow us to analyze large quantities of data to identify important trends in research.